Now that we know how to put major scales together on the piano keyboard, let's notate our major scales on manuscript paper. If you haven't done so already, print some manuscript paper now. Have your keyboard diagram and grand staff handy for reference. In the last lesson, we learned about the specific sequence of whole steps and half steps that make every major scale and put major scales together using the piano keyboard. We did this for the C major scale, the F major scale, and the G major scale. Now we want to notate these scales on manuscript paper. First, let's review the C major scale and write the note names on our manuscript paper under the staff. The notes in the C major scale are C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C. Let's write these note names under the staff and we'll space them out a bit so we have room to write our notes above them. C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C. Put a treble clef on the left edge of the staff Since we started on middle C, let's look at which C is middle C on the grand staff. Notate middle C on your manuscript paper above the note name C. The next note is D above middle C. Looking at the grand staff, see where the D above middle C is located and notate it on your manuscript paper. The next note is E above middle C. The grand staff shows it located here. So let's write this E on the staff. Next is F. Then G, A, B, and lastly C, one octave higher. That's the C major scale notated on the staff. It should look something like this on your manuscript paper. You may have noticed as we ascend up the major scale, notes alter between being placed on a line and a space. This also applies to notes on ledger lines, since ledger lines are an extension of the staff. Now let's notate the F major scale. The notes in the F major scale are F. G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Go to the next line on your manuscript paper and write these note names under the staff like we did before with the C major scale. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. And once again, put a treble clef on the left edge of the staff. We start on the F above middle C. So once again, let's locate that on the grand staff. Notate that F on your manuscript paper. As pointed out before, when we ascend up the major scale, notes alter between being placed on a line and a space. So we will just write our notes altering between lines and spaces this time as we ascend up the F major scale. The next note up is G. 
F is on a space in the staff, so G, the next note up, will be on a line. Next note, A, will go on the space. Next note, B flat, will go on the next line. We need to add a flat to our B to make it a B flat, like this. When adding sharps, flats, or any other accidentals to a note, they are always placed on the left side of the note and always on the space or line the note uses. Next note, C. Then D. Then E. And F, one octave higher. That's the F major scale notated on the staff. It should look something like this on your manuscript paper. By now I'm sure you see how all this works. Let's go to the next line on your manuscript paper and put a treble clef on the left edge of the staff and then we'll notate the G major scale. To review, the notes in the G major scale are G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Let's write these note names under the staff like before. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. We started on the G above middle C. You probably already know where that G goes on the staff, but just to be sure, let's locate it on the grand staff. Now notate that G on the manuscript paper. Now we'll go right up the major scale, altering each note between spaces and lines. Next note, A. Then B. C. D. E. F sharp. And we always put our accidental to the left of the note on the line or the space that the note uses. And lastly, we have G, one octave higher. That's the G major scale notated on the staff. It should look something like this on your manuscript paper. When creating any major scale, you can always use your grand staff to double check your notes and note names. Since the grand staff is written in C, it won't show your accidentals, your sharps and your flats, but it does show note names and proper placement on the staff. 